I am Mike Madewell with Hunter Industries here in Southern California and I was asked to make a short brief video on how to do a basic program in the ACC2 controller. Um, of course the ACC2 will run more valves electrically than you'll probably ever have water for and manages multiple points of connections but your day-to-day -day adjustments, start time, run time, water days, those are the simple ingredients that I'll be showing you in this short video. Um, as you look here at the front panel, we have a home button that brings you back to this home screen. There's also a back button and a dial that helps you navigate. We've got these four ATM style buttons and here at the very top where it says stop, if you want to turn the controller off, it currently is in the auto mode very obviously, but if you hit stop and you hit system off here in the bottom, it's going to go to obviously an off mode and that means the controller is not going to irrigate. The very top button says auto run, just go back to auto run, and it goes back into the automatic mode. And within the door hanger, it also has those six or seven kind of chapters that are listed here. And we'll be dealing with that very first one that has your day-to-day -day operations. And I'll be showing you that more so in a close-up here in just a moment. So with that, let's get started. All right, so once all the rest of your settings, your master valve flow sensors, and those things are all dealt with and selected, to do a basic program, we're gonna start with this main menu button right here, the bottom of the four little ATM buttons here, and we're gonna we're gonna hit that guy to go into the first segment, or the first chapter, I call it. This one's called Programs, and here we have our start time, run times, and water days, even season adjust. And this is the first segment or chapter that you'll go to on a regular basis to make your ongoing changes. You can see a little blue line right here tells us that we're in the first of those segments. If I move the dial over to the second, there's our stations for station setup. Um, the third area is for devices. The fourth one is the flow operation details. Here's some regional settings and networking, diagnostics. Um, this is our advanced features segment. You can see this is moving across the page here, the screen. Uh, the last location here is for decoders. This happens to be a decoder controller, but that won't change for our start time, run time, water days. I've moved the dial over back to the first chapter. Again, chapters two through seven or eight, whatever, all those stuff is usually done day one for the setup. And you'll really only visit this first section on an ongoing basis. So now that we're here, I'm gonna tap the dial and you can see start time is highlighted. I'll tap the dial again. And I happen to be in program two. So I'm gonna um, come up here to program two being highlighted. I'm gonna tap the dial back up to program one. And now we're in program one. His name happens to be program one. The run mode is automatic and it says stack or overlap here. You're gonna tell each program individually if you're gonna be stacked or overlapped. And if you're stacked, that means that he'll go by himself uh, when his start time comes up. But if you have it in overlap, any other programs that are also in overlap selection, if they happen to cross paths during the, 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 the night operation and overlap, they will literally run together. So this kind of lets you set up how much, how many programs you want to go at the same time um, or not. So um, I've already got two start times plugged in. You can see here our second and third ingredients, runtime and water days are already accessible here, but I'm gonna move my dial down and you can see I'm going through the selections. I'm gonna to go to the second start time. I'm gonna tap the dial and I can adjust that start time, all right? I can go back towards midnight to the off position. There's a blank spot there, um, right there. I tap the dial, I've just gotten rid of that second start time. So now I only have the one start time. So for program one, um, start time 12, 14 a.m. Now I wanna do the run time. So here to the right, I simply stay in program one and I hit run times. Again, we're still in program one. And the cool thing about ACC2 is it doesn't go numerical. You have to tell it kind of who you want to go to bat first. And in this case, it's gonna be a station and it happens to be station number four. And he's gonna go for 12 minutes. And if I go here, the next guy up to bat is gonna be a block. And I've already built a block with certain stations. And I've told block number one to go up to bat second for 16 minutes, okay? And then the next guy that's gonna go up is gonna be a station. Uh, I can move the dial to station number 11 or make it station, I don't know, 13. I come over here to the minutes, move the dial, 19 minutes. So you can see you simply build kind of a batting order is what I call it. And uh, you tell the system in what order 
who will be watering them. So that's our runtime portion, and now we're gonna go into water days, our third ingredient. Real simple, program one. Uh, he's in day of the week mode. I can come down here and tap the dial and go to odd or even, interval, manual, or back to day of the week mode. I call it seven day pick a day mode. And as you come in, you can tap the dial for Monday. That means on, tap the dial again, it's off. So I currently have set up um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. So that's it for program number one. I've got my start times, my run times, and my water days. I can go back to that first uh, function, start time. Uh, the whole time I've got this button here called next program. So if I wanna start a second program, simply hit next program and I've got program two lined up. And his start time, he's in auto mode, he's in stack. I can scroll down here and tap the first start time and have him come on at uh, 3.46, for example. Uh, then I go here to run times and I'll simply scroll down here to the first station or block and say I want station number, um, I don't know, 13 to start out. And it's gonna be for six minutes, for example. So that's our second ingredient is run times. Then I'll come over here to water days. Again, I'm still in program two. Go through the same motions, either day of the week, interval, odd, and then pick your days to water. So that would have set me up with two programs, program one and two. And I can hit the back button, brings me back to that first chapter. I hit the back button again, and I go back to the home screen, or I could have used the home screen button as well at any time to come to the home screen. So that's it for basic program setup, start time, run time, water days.